Parents, welcome to How to Teach Kids Past, Present, and Future Verb Tenses. Verb tenses are important because they tell when the action of the noun or pronoun occurs. It can be in the past, present, or future. Let's look at our first example. Bobby is the noun and the verb is mow. In our sentence, when it is past, the verb becomes mowed. In the sentence, when it is present, the verb becomes mows. And in the future, we have the helping verb will, and now we have will mow. Continue with kids to look at the second example and the third and fourth. This is a teaching template to use with kids when teaching the four rules of making a verb past tense. In this section of the video, we are going to teach kids the four rules to make verbs past tense, meaning the action of the noun or pronoun already happened. So our verb in our first example is mo and in most cases to make a verb past tense just add ed so we look we see the word mo we added ed and the sentence reads bobby mowed the lawn it is already done it already happened let's look at number two the verb is squeeze when the verb ends in e squeeze ends in e, drop, get rid of, the e before adding ed. So we cross off the e and then we add ed and the verb becomes squeezed. We don't keep the e and then add another e and then a d because that would be incorrect. So let's read the sentence. I squeezed a lot of mustard on my hot dog. She already did it because it's on the hot dog and she is eating the hot dog. Let's look at number three. Our verb is shop. When the verb, the verb is shop, ends in a short vowel and a consonant. Sha-ah-ah, ah, that is a short O, and O is the vowel, and that is a consonant. We double the final consonant and add ed. So we see the word shop. To make it past tense, we double the p and add ed. Now let's read the sentence. Tina shopped for groceries. She is walking out of the store. She has already shopped. It, the action already happened. And now let's go down to four. The verb is fry. When the verb ends in a consonant and Y, R is a consonant and we have a Y, then we change the Y to I and add ED. Right here, we changed it to I and added ED. So fry became fried. Mom fried an egg for her daughter. She already fried the egg. The action already happened. We are going to begin by having kids make past tense verbs with a common ending ed. Now we're going to have kids make the past tense of each verb. And this is the most common form where they just need to add an ED. So let's look at our first example. Who is completing the action? She, the pronoun she. And the verb is blend. And we want to make it past tense because she already blended the oranges. So we add ED to the end of blend and we have blended. Over here, again, our pronoun is doing the action, she, and the verb is clean, the floor. She cleaned the floor. So we're going to add ed. 
And our last one is they walked to school. They is the pronoun and walk is the verb, but they've done it. So we add ed and make it walked. Let's go down here. The noun is Tina. She is the one who cooked dinner. Cook is our verb and we're making it cooked because she already did it. So all we have to do is add E, D, and cook becomes cooked. Who is completing the action here? It is a pronoun, he stands for the painter. What is the verb? Paint. It's now nice and green. So he painted the door. We just need to add E, D, to paint, and it becomes painted. And let's look here, there's a farm. Looks like he might be leaving, so he is the pronoun. Visit is the verb, but he's leaving, so he visited the farm. And we need to put E, D, to make the verb visit, visited, past tense. This is a completed example. Now remind kids when the verb ends in an E, they have to drop the E before adding ED. We never want to see EED. To help kids understand that they must drop the E and add ED, show them the two examples. The one that is wrong has EED, and the one that is correct dropped the E and then added ED. This is a completed example. When kids are ready, have them work on the next rule. When the verb ends in a short vowel plus a consonant, double the final consonant and add ed. In our example, the verb is shop. Shop ends in op. O is a short vowel and p is a consonant. So the p is doubled and then add ed to show the past tense of shop, which is shop. This is a completed example. And now we come to the fourth rule to make a past tense verb. When the verb ends in a consonant and a Y, change the Y to I and add ED. In the word study, D is a consonant and the last letter is Y. So we need to change the Y to I and then add ED and then we make the word studied. This is the completed example. Now we're going to have kids review past tense verbs by filling in this crossword puzzle. One down, the verb is score. It ends in an E. We drop the E and add ED. Two down, the verb is shop. It ends in a short O vowel and a consonant P. We double the P and add ED. Three down is dry. It ends in a consonant R and a Y. We change the Y to I and add ED. Four down, the verb is spy. It ends in the consonant P and a Y. Change the Y to I and then add ED. One across, the verb is stop. It ends in a short O and the consonant P. Double the P and add ED. Five across, the verb is mo. It follows the simple rule just add ed. Six across, 
the verb is place. It ends in an E. Drop the E and add ED. And seven across is time. It at ends in an E. Drop the E and add ED. And now we have our completed crossword puzzle. This is a past tense verbs resource chart kids can refer to when completing the activities. Before we move on to present tense verbs, I just wanted to mention a fifth type of past tense. They are irregular verbs that do not follow the four rules we just taught. These will be taught in another video. Now we are going to teach kids about making present tense verbs. That means the action is happening now. And they have their own set of rules. The first one is add S to most verbs when a singular noun is doing the actions. The singular noun in our first one is Bobby. And we just add an S to Mo. The second rule is add ES to verbs when a singular noun is doing the actions and the verb ends in SS, CH, X, TCH, SH, and ZZ. And the next one is divided into two parts. 3A, do not add an S or ES when the noun is plural. And in this example, it is a plural pronoun, they. So the verb wait is still wait. They wait for their parents. And 3B, do not add S or ES when the pronoun is you or I. And in this example, it is I. I squeeze a lot of mustard on my hot dog. In this practice page, kids will need to make the verbs present tense, since all of the nouns and pronouns in these examples are singular, such as Tommy, he, she, the cat. Kids will just need to add S to each verb to make it present tense. And this is the completed example. Now have kids practice the second rule. Since all nouns and pronouns on this page are singular and all verbs end in S, S, C, H, X, S, H, and Z, Z, kids just need to add E, S. And this is a completed example. Tim fixes the fence. He tosses the rings. He watches the game. She washes her hands, the bee buzzes around the flower, and she pushes the cart. So now have kids practice rule 3A. It says do not add S or ES when the noun or pronoun is plural. In all of our examples on this page, the noun or pronoun is plural. So kids do not need to do anything with a verb. It just remains the same. And this is a completed example. And our next practice page, Rule 3B. Again, do not add S or ES when the pronoun is you or the pronoun is I. And we use those two pronouns in our examples. So kids will just need to leave the verb the same and realize that they do not have to add anything to it. And this is a completed example. This is a review practice for kids. Have kids circle past or present for each sentence. And this is a completed example. 
So now introduce kids to making verbs the future tense, meaning the action is going to happen. It hasn't happened yet. And to do this, we're going to keep the verbs as they are and add the word will in front of them. And this is a completed example. The helping verb will was used before each verb. I will squeeze a lot of mustard on my hot dog. He will paint. Gina will jump rope. I will fix the fence. The kids will put their lunches in the tub. And I will ride the horse. Now have kids fill in the missing verb tense for each verb. Remember to look at the picture, then the noun, whether it's singular or plural, and the verb. And these are the answers. For the first one, the past tense is blended. Second one, present tense is washes. Third one, Past tense is hopped. Fourth one, present tense is studies. And the last one, past tense is watered. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. And as always, I will leave a link for all the templates in the description section.